Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to create a logo, a Star Wars logo that you can uh, use as a 3D model. Okay, right now we're going to use Corel Draw 2018. So what you want to do is go ahead and create a new document. Just go with the default, click OK. Control minus will zoom you back out. You can change the orientation of the page here to the portrait. Um, and we want to go ahead and import the reference graphic. So we go to File, scroll down to Import. Then we're going to go All File Formats, locate the file on the desktop. Uh, I believe it's just PNG file. So we'll go ahead and click Import. All right, here's the file right here. We want to go ahead and scale this down. Control plus the shift, hold down the shift key, scale. And we don't need it to be that big. We can specify exact size um, if we want to click on the graphic. And then um, we could specify up here percentage scale factor, or we can specify pixels. If we want to change uh, dimensions, go ahead and right mouse click on the, on the uh, ruler, go to ruler setup. Uh, change the units from pixels. We could go down to say millimeters. We'll go millimeters. Click OK. Click on the graphic and right up here it's 394 millimeters. Let's just make this 100. So we'll go 100, tab, 100, enter. Now our graphic is, is uh, 100 millimeters. So we want to put that graphic in the center of the page. Hit P. So in the center of the page, it's real easy. Control plus, we'll zoom in on that. Okay, so what we want to do here now is go ahead and uh, right mouse click button on this. And we're going to go ahead and lock um, the object right here. Lock object. So that way, while we're drawing the object, it's not going to move around. Okay, so first we want to get the circle tool. Navigate to the center, hold down the shift key and control at the same time. Click off of that. Then we want to go control copy, control paste. We want to scale that copy down to there. Okay, do the same thing. Control, control C, control B, paste. We're going to make another copy. We're going to make that go to there. Okay, so now to view this better, we're going to go ahead and go up to view. I'm going to say view by wireframe. And then we're going to zoom in just a little bit more. Okay, so there are some things that we want to do here. So we got our basic uh, outline shape. Um, we want to create another circle. So we'll go ahead and click this last circle that we did. Go ahead and Control C, Control V, um, and then scale that down to here, right there. Okay, now we're going to need one more for those little, uh, one more. Control copy, control V. If you have a mouse, you can mostly just do your plus key, and then you'll actually get a copy while you're dragging out. Okay, so, so now we have all the copies that we need to do this. So what we're going to do is draw these little squares right here. So go ahead, change tools here to the Bezier or Bezier tool. Okay, now, yeah, let's see here. Okay, so now we're going to go from the center here and go up to here. And then we're going to go, doesn't matter if you're in this area here because we're going to land up trimming that off. So we're going to go here and we're going to go back down to here. We just need a closed piece. Okay, so use the pointer tool, click off of this. So I'm going to rotate this one around. Um, I may not have closed that. It looks like it's open. Okay, it looks like I didn't close this one. So we're going to go ahead and redraw this again. Click on that, hit delete. Go ahead and get the busy A tool from center up to here. Back down to the center, close the drawing. Click on the plus, click on the pointer tool, then click on the desktop somewhere. Okay, go ahead and click this. We're going to change that 
I'm going to move that center point. See the center point? Click and drag down. Oh, actually, not do. Click on the center. Th click off. Click on the part. Oh, for some reason, it's not letting me do that. Maybe I need a mouse to do that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and right mouse cl click on that. We're going to change that, slide that down to the center there. Right there. Okay, now we're going to copy, paste, and then rotate, holding the shift key down, or a control key down, I'm sorry. All right, so we just want one right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. We're going to go click on this, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do control, copy, control, paste, and then we're going to go right mouse click on that and we're going to rotate this one around holding down the control key but off of it control d actually that's not work this is much easier to do with the mouse i'm actually on a laptop and i have a pad so we'll have to continue to control c control v click on the graphic and hold down the control key spin it around control c control v Spin it around with the control key held down. Control C, Control V. Spin it around. Control C, Control V. One more time. Click down the control key, spin it around. Okay, now at this point, um, we want to go ahead and weld some of this stuff to here. So we're going to go, first, we're going to take this circle, we're going to go over to the weld tool, and we're going to say, change it from weld to trim. I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and click trim. We're going to trim this away from here. Okay, so now we should have a separate piece. So get rid of that. We don't need it. Okay, now we're going to select all of these pieces that we just drew. Um, sorry about that. Click, hold down the shift key, and select all of them. Not sure if that's getting all of them. But okay, got that one. All right, let's just move it. Make sure. All right, I'm gonna have to go get those over again. Shift key. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and use the change this trim tool back to weld. And we're going to go ahead and weld these to here. Let's just click in anywhere there. Now we have that basic center place. So what I'm going to do so I can check the model periodically is I'm going to change. I'm going to click on there and I'm going to change the offset, which is basically, I have to find it. Okay. I uh, don't know where the offset is. I can't find it anymore. Hmm. Let's go here. Okay, this nudge offset right here, it says nudge distance. We're going to change that just to uh, 50 millimeters. Okay, and the reason we're going to do that is because I want to see what this circle looks like without actually moving it, without being able to move it back to its original place. So we're going to go nudge offset. Okay, so that's basically what it looks like. Now we're going to click this circle in the middle here. Go change the weld to trim. Go ahead and trim that. We're going to trim it, remove it from here. So go ahead and move over. So then that's our one shape. So move that over. Get rid of this circle here. Don't need it anymore. Delete. Okay, now we're going to take this shape here and we're going to trim it. So go ahead and trim that shape from here. Click, click. And get rid of that shape. We don't need that shape. So get rid of this one right here. Delete. Okay, so now we'll take that back. Get the pointer tool, move that back. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw these here. So go ahead and click on the object, move it over to. Okay, now we're going to draw that little square there. All right. So now what we want to do is draw another, this piece right here. 
Okay, so we'll go ahead and click on the square tool. We're going to draw the square. Um, right there is good. Okay, now we're going to draw this shape right here. So we'll use the Bezier, Bezier tool. Come in here, click here. Click over here, and then we're going to drag and curve it. Okay. Double click on the on the line to get it to go straight. Click here. Then we're going to close it up. Okay, click off of it. Now we're going to click that square. We're going to go up here to trim, change it to weld. And we're going to weld that square to here. Okay, now we're going to rotate that around. So we need to click on it twice. We're going to need to change that middle center to down here. Center. Okay, now I'm going to have to do the same thing here. Control, copy, control C, control V. Hold on to the control key, rotate that one around. With it still selected, control C, control V. Move, control, move that one around. Control C, control V. Move that one around. Control C, control V. Move that one around. Control C, control V. Now this is all like I was saying earlier, much, much faster with a mouse. Um, I don't have a particular mouse on the computer that I use. Um, I actually use a uh, Alienware Area M51. So I haven't got a mouse for it yet. So now we want to go ahead and click on all those little shapes that we just made, holding down the shift key. So click, select, click. Click, click, click. Change our weld to the weld tool. If it's not already on there, we're going to go ahead and weld it to this piece right there. Now we need to weld that piece to the wheel on the outside. So we're going ahead and say weld, and then click there. Okay, now we don't no, no longer need our graphics. So I'm doing a right mouse click on it, unlock, and then we're going to hit delete. Okay, so this is our Star Wars image that we just created. We're going to go ahead and fill it with black. We're going to go ahead and take off any line by right mouse clicking. Then we're going to go to um, back up to view and view as normal. So basically this is our Star Wars graphic. Okay, now that's going to conclude this lesson. I hope this uh, I hope you found something useful out of this and uh, thanks again for watching.